While Europe was torn apart by war, the U.S. had begun a massive mobilization in what many believed could permanently change the tide of the war. Aboard the USS Pocahontas was a racially segregated unit, the Old 15th, made up almost entirely of African-American soldiers. These men were sailing to Europe, ready to put their lives on the line to prove their love for a country that didn't always love them back. Dear Freddy, we're on our way to France. This is our first night at sea. But don't worry, me and the boys are ready. Speaking of the fellas, I lucked out and I'm getting on good with a fine bunch of them. There's Fidgety Lang Edwards, who never puts down his drumsticks. Jack Harris, our medic from Chicago. Joey Brass is from Harlem and plays a mean banjo. Chef Caldwell is always cooking up stuff for us. We just have to make sure to get served before B.B. Johnson. <laughs> Great guy, but he can really put it away. Well, I gotta go now. Practice is about to start, and there's no jazz band without a clarinet. <laughs> Stay safe. We'll see each other soon. Your brother, James. As the Pocahontas continued to cross the Atlantic, their encounter with the German U-boat 155 brought them ever closer to the fight. Entering the battlegrounds of the war, their ship was spotted by Ernst. May 31st, 1916. On land, the conflict was bogged down in trench warfare. Neither the Allies nor the Central Powers were able to make significant gains. At sea, Allied forces dominated Germany with a crippling blockade. Determined to stay away from the war, Ernst escaped to the solitude offered by the depths of the sea. It was here below the surface that he scavenged, hoping to eke out a living.
As his boat settled on the seabed, Ernst began to come to terms with the war's inevitable, all-consuming power. Defeated and alone, he could feel the Jutland water's cold embrace tightening around him. Stranded for hours in the aftermath of the Battle of Jutland, Ernst was starting to feel his grip slip away. But when the merchant sailors aboard the submarine, the Germania, came to his aid, they not only saved Ernst's life, they also took him in as one of their own. In them, Ernst found kindred spirits and instantly felt right at home. But even at home, you have to carry your weight. Schnapps and Vamps? Schnapps and Vamps? Bleib weg! Nineteen sixteen, the U.S. had remained neutral, allowing for business as usual. Despite trade blockades, the few merchant submersibles in existence, like the Germania, were still able to trade with them. <laughs> 